Hey guys, it's Jordan and welcome to today's video which is going to be my back to school supplies haul or university supplies haul for me. I know this video is super duper late and I'm sorry about that but better late than never, right? I was in New Zealand for the last two weeks of January as most of you guys would know and that's generally when I do my, um, my back to school shopping. So I missed that period and obviously everyone had already gone back to school by the time I got back. So we're just going to have to make do this year. But this haul isn't going to be too huge because I have most of the things that I need anyway and also because I'm starting uni I don't need as many things for uni um, so that was good it was very interesting shopping for university because I have no idea what I'm doing I just sort of winged it we'll see what happens but nonetheless I hope you like this video let's jump in and get started so I'm gonna start off by sharing with you guys my diary for this year because this baby is gonna keep me organized so this is one of the diaries from typo and it's like the wood looking one it's really really nice and it's my kind of diary it starts at the beginning of every month with like a monthly overlay like a calendar type thing and then the week is laid out for you and I really like that because my last diary from last year was like one day to a page and I'd always like miss things because they'd be on the next page and yeah, it didn't keep me as organized as I had planned it to. So yeah, this one is definitely more my style. Then I went to a Kmart because their stuff is amazing. Like seriously, some of their like back to school stuff is like to die for. So I got these two little notebooks. The first one here is very similar to my diary, which was accidental. I bought this first, but I forgot that I bought this when I bought my diary, but Anyway, they're slightly different and this is just your regular little journal. I'm not too sure what I'm going to use it for yet. I just thought it was really cute and it was very inexpensive so I thought I'd get it. The other notebook is so cute. It's like this pale blue colour and it says finish what you started which is sort of going to be my quote for getting through this next year. And again, just a normal regular cute little notebook. I don't know what I'm going to use this one for. But I guess just if I have any like things that I need to remember to do or I need like to write down an idea or something like that, I'll use that notebook, but we'll see what happens. When I came home, I had all of Rachel's videos to catch up on and one of them was her supplies haul and in it, she actually purchased this and I was so excited when I saw it in her video, I had to go out and buy it for myself. So it's this weekly planner from Kmart and this is basically just going to help me organize myself even further and just keep me organized and space out my time every day so that I'm getting everything done that I need to and so I can put in when I have to be at uni, when I've got commitments, when I'm going to study and exercise and all that stuff so this will keep me on top of life. <laughs> Next thing I bought was the standard Papermate Kilometrico pens in blue. Fun fact about me, I only like writing in blue pens. I don't know what it is about writing in black pens but like that's a no-go zone for me. I prefer to write the bulk of my stuff in blue so I had to get a new pack of these. Now this also relates to Rachel but we have the same binder and so what I'm using this binder for is last year I had a binder as well and I put every subject in it and like all of the the important notes and stuff and study materials that I needed to revise before exams and stuff and I'd put it all every subject in a binder and it kept me really organized and on top of everything and I don't know I think it worked for me so I thought I'd do the same thing this year but I just wanted a very plain and basic one I actually wanted a black one but I couldn't find any so this is the closest thing that I could find I'm not going to take this to uni with me or anything this one is just gonna stay at home but it's sort of gonna help me study and keep on top of everything so I got that and then to go in that I already had like the display folder things I don't even know what they're called but like the little sheets that are like the pockets the clear pockets do you know what I'm talking about I also got some loose binder refills from Kmart as well it's 200 of them and they're just the basic pages to pop on in there and then to organize everything I got some dividers 
and I kind of color coordinate these per subject so I like allocate one of these colors to a subject I don't know why but like my brain remembers colors and it works for me so I color code the hell out of everything and so this is gonna help me do that while we're on the topic of color coding I bought some more sticky notes because I had run out I couldn't decide which ones were gonna be better so I just got both but there's like arrows and there's little tabs so I guess it depends what it's for but yeah I'm going to use this to further satisfy my um, my color coding I make a lot of mistakes when I write so I needed to pick up some more correction tape this is paper mate liquid paper and there's just three little ones I like the little ones better than the bigger ones because they fit um, nicely in my little pencil case but yes I just got some more of those the last thing I bought was um, some notebooks I still have to get another notebook because I'm a full-time student so I'm doing four subjects and I only have three books but you'll notice that they're color coded with the tabs so I hope this is all gonna work out anyway I still need to get another blue one of these um, and then I'm good but yeah that's that's what's happening so yeah this will be like what I take to uni when I'm doing like projects and stuff and studying and whatever I'll take this but when I'm just like going to a lecture or something I'll be writing all of my stuff out on my laptop and all my notes will be on my laptop anyway writing stuff out into books and on pages and stuff will just be for like studying and that sort of thing so that is all the supplies I have to share with you guys today the only thing I think I have left to get um, but I don't know when I'm gonna get it is just some plain display folders that match the colors of my books um, so that I can put in like my lecture slides and any assessment pieces of paper that I have or worksheets or just anything that I have for a particular subject I just put it all in there instead of having to glue it into like books or whatever so thank you so much for watching I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next video bye guys